As holidaymakers return to the capital, heaven's gates opened, leaving these law enforcers soaking wet. Without raincoats or umbrellas, they diligently ensured that road users complied with the traffic rules. A check on public transport operators and whether they complied with their respective operator's license was also done. But as the rain continued to pour, officers finally had no option but to seek shelter wherever they could in the absence of any ideal structure. The absence of a roofing structure also meant that when push comes to shove, the checkpoint was left unattended. Homas Regional Commander Commissioner Ismail Basson says plans are underway to erect shading at the roadblock and that of the Winduk Rearboth roadblock. When you look at the rain as we speak now, it's raining. When comes summer, the sun is very hot. So all that, considering all that, the plans of putting up the shade is definitely for is definitely in, in, in for us to protect the members that is on duty. The roadblock recorded about 1,080 cars moving inbound to the capital during the lunch hour. The number was expected to shoot up as the day progressed. Seven-seater vehicles travelling commercially were also blocked at the roadblock. Basson stated this mode of public transportation is only allowed to operate within a 60-kilometre radius. But uh, I think by now everybody should be aware that those are not uh, people with cars that are having permit to transport people. So that is why, why they are being sent back. Emil Seibeb, NBC News, Ventuk.